Hello, I'm Sue Rose Minahan. Happy New Year 2021. I looked at the charts and I studied and wondered all day. It seemed like, yes, of course I have many goals and hopes and I'm following through on a lot of things. And it's good. It's a beautiful day in many ways. And I surely hope for all of you it's a splendid beginning. Yet I must be totally honest and found myself embroiled in issues. And it took me all day to figure out. So I finally looked at the ephemeris and I looked at the chart and I'm going to bring it up right now. And here it is. It's going to be a specialized one. It's on January 1st today, 2021 at zero eight, but does the time doesn't matter. I've used an Aries zero degree chart so that everything's in its natural sign house because we're talking to people here and there everywhere. And if we look at Mars, which is just concluding its six month journey saga through Aries, because every two years it goes retrograde. Now in Aries, it's pretty incredible. There was an earlier talk we did with Dr. Laura Tad on Planet Buzz, and she found out it is unusual that it retrogrades in Aries. You know, there are cycles, but some cycles are more infrequent. Like, for instance, I think another one is Mars retrograde in Aquarius, if I remember correctly. And I should have double checked that, but I believe that's also true. Because this experience with Mars has certainly told us of the essential need to recognize Mars. Now in all the signs, it shifts in its areas that it wants to initiate, but in, because it is initiation and it is our, our separation. It's what we defend. It's what we want to work for a cause. It's how we want to become identity. The sign before is Pisces. It's the womb. It's the all. It's the, the power is greater than ourselves. And we take that seed that we want and we thrust and break through to become. And it's been quite a journey since the end of June, about the 29th of June. And it won't be completed, I believe, until the 7th of January. But this degree, 27, which we can say on this chart is the seed chart for the year. It's one indication. What does it say? And that's what I'm talking about in this chat that I have on Talk Cosmos. It's 27 degrees, Aries. And I look back and it was at the very end of August. It was on August 29th, 30th, and 31st, and it continued all the way until September 5th. A very monumental time for me. And then it went uh, retrograde soon after that. And during the retrograde period, it continued at 27 degrees because it went retrograde at 28 on September 15th to the 23rd. Those were personally very important. That's when I made all my moves and transportations for getting prepared for coming to Hawaii. I drove a truck down to California and then I put that place up for sale. It was pretty complex. Now that, those are actions, of course, just as an example, because we all have our actions that we took. I know a, a friend was moving. There were significant changes in so many people as one would, you know, I, I'm sure you can remember from your own uh, people that you're in touch with. So what is happening is that we retrace those steps. So in other words, I was initiating a brand new identity. So here we are just today and tomorrow, it'll be at 27 degrees again, compressed into all that time. Taking Mars is now needing to take our actions that we uh, performed earlier, that action is how the universe understands 
it, it develops other activities and synchronizes events with you. And whether you're aligned, you follow through the best you can or you learn. And so it, it, it is really in Mars, it's like, what else is happening with Mars? Well, you can see that it is square, Mercury, and more definitely Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto is now by itself, uh, Jupiter and Saturn left by leaving their transiting and initiating 200 years of air energy of consciousness. But Mercury is in Capricorn right now, along with the sun, and it is looking in this relationship with Pluto, how to transform, what else to purge, what is going to give me my power to really enact these great directions that Mars has championed for. Now, Mars doesn't give up, it really has a, a cutting, separating process in order to be heroic in completing itself on its mission. And it can be very complex when we compress all that tremendous action into just a few days. But there is a structure. That's what Capricorn understands and can work with. There's a backbone, there's a structure, there's an anchor. It, it can operate with goals. And that's one of my goals here is to have a little daily chat. Get to know yourselves. Please comment. I want to connect and build this service and and for it so it works for all of us now if you look at saturn and jupiter because saturn is still the dispositor of capricorn and they it is square to Uranus. It, they will be applying more closely. And Uranus is in Taurus, which wants to speak to Venus. And Venus is at, also in a square with the South Node in Sagittarius. So our belief systems, our values, it's really a matter of, and, and squared to Neptune, there's a lot of chaos. I have felt quite a bit of chaos in the directions. And if you look on the mundane with the United States, there's quite a bit of confusion that has been thrust. Now, that does not mean that people are confused. It's mean there's been an attempt to confuse what has been. And yet, there's a lot of deciphering and there's always positive in confusion. It rearranges things so that you get to see it from a new viewpoint. But it's, it can be what they say, cloudy. In this chart, the moon, which we just completed a full moon in Cancer. Now it's in Leo. And it is also opposing Saturn. So Saturn is really acting in many regards, our structure. So no wonder there's some confusion. We have Saturn that's wanting to elevate and consider new perspectives, but it is still connected with our thinking that really wants structure and Pluto that's saying, is this going to really support you in, in your growth or not? So be think about what we're uh, developing. And it has to do with our emotions also, because the moon is personal. And, it, and the moon in Leo wants to have our manifestation of ourself. So out of all of this, there is a direction. It's quite complex. And yet there is always hope. And why do I say hope? Well, I suppose Jupiter that's inevitably involved always asks for hope. And really with Venus too in Sag and the South Note, we know what we know and there are tools. There are tools 
and there are goals and steps. So blessings to you all. It's go I'm so excited to connect. And I love you all. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.